Welcome to Horizons Meta News, Horizons World's premier news source. And I'm I'm El Blanco, and you're watching Blanco's Business Buzz, which is an extension of the Blanco Business News segment. And uh, what we do here is we host and we conduct interviews with Horizon World members who are seeking to establish their brands within the Horizon community. And tonight uh, we have Bone and we have Bunny. And we're going to, first of all, I'd like to thank you guys for showing up tonight and uh, appearing on our show. And because uh, we know that people really need to know um, how you guys have been so successful in being cohesive, how you have guys been moving throughout Horizon World, and they, they need to know a little bit about you guys and, and understand more so they can, you know, get themselves together because you you guys are setting a good example. You've been setting, a, you know, a major example, you know, as, as far as, as goes, uh, you know, with me because I like to see people working together the way y'all do. So tonight we're going to um, – start out with our three buzz questions and that we always do we're gonna let you guys answer these questions how you want to answer them and just let us know uh, uh about you so the first question tonight will be um what opportunity are you seeking to take a job in horizon world and why you want to answer first yep you know um i think well we're, we're seeking to um advantages and whatnot we're just trying to like just get known as best we can and uh get our bills out there get our worlds out there uh collaborate with many creators as possible um and we open to um helping anybody we open to help scripting building whatever you know we, we work with a couple teams so it really comes easy for us when it, when it comes to like having like you know advantages in the metaverse okay so as far as you guys personally, I want to start with the personal side first because, you know, sometimes, well, most times, you know, everything is starts out with relationships and people get an understanding and they get a feel of each other to see if they want to work with people or see how they interact with other people. So if there's anything mm -hmm. personal you would like Horizon World to, um, to know about you personally, um, is there anything that you would rather them know about you up front personally? <laughs> Um, for me, I would say um, I'm really familiar with the metaverse ups and downs. Um, I've been through a lot of the negative parts of Horizon and a lot of the positive parts. And I always try to encourage a lot of people in the metaverse to stay in the metaverse, even if they do go through the bad stuff, because it does have a lot of benefits. Like I, I suffered through a lot of anxiety and depression in my life. And when I discovered Horizon, it was... Mm -hmm. Ready? Okay. So, um, like I was saying, I uh been through a lot of negatives and positives about the metaverse. Um, but I said I want to encourage people to continue to use the platform, especially Horizon Worlds, because it does give you opportunities to express yourself in different ways. But um, like I said, it does come with a lot of negative stuff. All of us know what the negatives are, but it does help you get through your real life issues as well. It's an outlet, you know. It's a way to get past the real life problems that you may deal with and just you know get some relief get some stress relief or whatever and you can meet some really amazing people on here too so i always want to be that voice of reason for people when they feel like giving up on this because i have my moments too i want to just give up on horizon or the metaverse or whatever but i keep going just keep on going well uh, for me um it's like uh i met a lot of amazing people because I spent a lot of time alone uh, in 2020 because of some, you know, some bad stuff that happened to me. But uh, getting this is like it was like meeting people and being able to go out again and being able to have fun again, you know. So it's like for me, it was just simply just staying here and and enjoying the moment, enjoying the time with the people who enjoyed me. You know, I, I share those same I share those same sentiments, but in terms of um uh you know my 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 my, my situations happened way back, you know what I'm saying? So I, mean, I didn't have mm -hmm. I didn't have I didn't have any direct things to uh, uh I guess transition into. Uh it's just the fact that like when I when I came in, um I experienced saw a whole bunch of negative stuff in the beginning, you know what I'm saying? So I had to make that adjustment. You know oh, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, but, yeah. And and mm -hmm. I tell people all the time too, you know. The good will always outweigh, outweigh the really outweigh the bad because you're gonna meet so many people that's gonna actually be moving in the direction you're moving, or they're gonna be able to assist you and help you move for, forward in this place. So we all got different talents and different skills to add. So yeah, same sentiment. Um, but I don't I don't build, so I don't I don't enjoy it 
to the extent that the builders do, because this is a paradise <laughs> for, for yeah. builders. straight paradise for the builders. Okay, so um, so did you guys have any artistic background or any business background before you came into the Horizon World? Because you guys are moving in an artistic way as well as you 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 like you about business where y'all moving, building y'all little empire. Um, I didn't have artistic or business for me. It, it, I didn't have either, but I just I always liked art, so I did a, a lot of drawing, but I never went to no school or no class for it. You know, in business, I, don't, I mean, my business was uh, was simple. It wasn't no business school or nothing like that, so nah, I didn't have a business or nothing. It's just after I got in here and I started talking to people and I started listening to a lot of the people who've been here, I yeah. start developing, you know what I'm saying? So gotcha. I listen a lot. Okay. No, you don't. I'm just kidding. <laughs> but um for me, um ever yeah, since yeah. I was like in middle school, I had been in performing arts and stuff like that. Um I actually studied I started out with art and everything, um, performing arts. Um, but business side, I had started a small business when I graduated from culinary school back in twenty twenty. Um I jumped into trying to do business for myself because trying to work for other people, it just, it wasn't for me. Like I just, I realized I'm not meant to work for somebody else. So I started trying to become an entrepreneur and do my own stuff. But when I discovered Horizon, I was able to put like my art, artsy, you know, stuff at hand and really be hands on with everything in here. And um, it just really helped me. It really helped me for, to express myself with the way I couldn't really do in real life, you know? Because running a business in real life, it, it takes a lot of money to get started. And <laughs> with Horizon, everything was free to get started pretty much. That's one of the biggest um, conversations I tend to find myself falling into uh, when I'm talking to people about um, changing their directives in here. In here, doing business in here and creating a business in here with little to no cost whatsoever, that can eventually um, help you start your business on the outside, right? Yeah. And then get funding for that business to come in here and do it, even expand it. Um, people are not, you know, they're not really that, for, I say, no business background, not that familiar. So when I watch you guys, okay, so she got some background in the art. She got background. So, okay, that's cool. That's a good combination. You can pick up on things and you can actually, um, you know, I guess you operate off in, in, in intuition too. Wishing helps you know who to listen to because everybody talks about what they know. What they and I hear a lot of stuff about people talking and it don't be adding up to me. But um, <laughs> but yeah, you know. But to watch y'all, you know, to come to y'all worlds and see how y'all lining things up and seeing how your concepts are. Um, that's you know that's one reason why you know what I'm saying we we you know we we kind of like click because I'm looking for I'm looking toward the future of everybody that's taking their art, taking their aspirations is going to actually do something with it. You know what I'm saying here? Because we can mm -hmm. have fun all day, but we're not going to be kids or we're not yeah. going to be young adults for the rest of our lives. You know what I'm saying? Right. So true, true. Um, I'm looking forward to everybody that's actually building something and building a brand and that brand is having longevity. You know what I'm saying? I'm looking at that. Mm -hmm. and, uh, mm -hmm. and we're not going to be in beta forever. And then when the AI come in and they get these glitches out of here and we start moving with more capacity and expansion, it's going to be something else. And I, mm -hmm. I, I can see oh, y'all. Yeah, most definitely at the finish line, you know what I'm saying? Okay, so the next bit, the next buzz question is, you know, um, what have been your biggest challenges and um, how did you deal with them to overcome the biggest challenges of Horizon Worlds? Your, your personal big, biggest challenges for Horizon Worlds? Um, some of my biggest challenges at first was uh, talking to people, getting people to talk back. Okay. You know, because it's like so many people in Horizon is already clicked up. So it's like if you can't like break into that click, then they don't really want to, you know, deal with you or they'll talk to you, but they won't tell you stuff. So the biggest challenges was just trying to find people who were willing to teach, talk, and you know, help you to get where you were trying to go. As far as building, I really didn't have no challenge because Bunny taught me how to build, and then Cutie taught me how to do art. So I really didn't have challenges when it came to building. It was more like learning the scripting and learning how to make certain things do what you wanted to do in your world. You know what I'm saying? So uh, that was kind of like my biggest challenge. But other than that, it was, it's, it's just been gravy, man, for me. <laughs> 
I would you, say um, my biggest challenge from the start was trying to appeal to like the audience I was trying to pull in for like my building and stuff. Like I would always trying to figure out like, okay, what do I need to build? People going to like, I always try to build things that people would like. And then it kind of just, it drained me, you know, cause I was trying to like compete with other, com- other creators and wonder why like my worlds were not getting all the likes that weren't getting all the foot traffic. So once I finally broke out of that, I just started building for me. Like when I met Bone, he kind of really got me in that mindset of you got to build for yourself and not for everybody else. Because if they don't like it, you know, it is what it is. But you have to like it first. So we started just doing our own thing. And then even though he doesn't have a business background, he was the one that came up with the B&B Productions and saying, like, we have a brand and everything. And I'm like, okay, I was just building because I was bored. But then it became see, our brand. So see, see, and we see. just took off from there. <laughs> Yeah, but look, I, like, like I'm gonna add to that, right? So, mm-hmm. um, um, when it comes to um, the pure brand, you guys always show up anytime there's a problem, need a special effect, need to get in, need to add me to something. Uh, these two always show up. We got people who we we you know we got a long list of people we know, but they show up every single time. You know, what I'm saying? <laughs> we don't miss no deadlines because of them, because we didn't have this person. Say, I want to work with y'all or whatever. Just hit me up. And and um, so um, but, you know, ev- more more people know about y'all. Everybody know how you people that know, know y'all know how y'all get down. I'm you know, I'm a direct you know witness to how they get down. And um, and so the things that you guys are learning and have learned, um, I'm never going to learn. And you know, <laughs> Behind, behind, behind the eight ball and some of that stuff. But, but thanks to y'all, we're able to move, and that's what more people uh, need to understand. You need to network, and that was one of the challenges mm-hmm. that most people had because they didn't understand. Um, not saying they didn't understand; they just didn't know how to um, approach people in clicks. And we got yeah. clicks. We had big clicks, and we got clicks still. But um, to me, it's better. You know, because we're no longer, like say, we're no longer the newbies. You know what I'm saying? And since we understood what it was like to come in after the people who had came in first, first, you know, we understand what it's like. So we kind of more like outreaching to the to the to the newer people because I'm always yeah. plugging somebody they knew. I'm sending them over here. I go, I I walk people straight up to the junior, like yo, junior, this person right here said they need, uh, you know, something mm-hmm. to do. You know what I mean? <laughs> I walk them straight up, use my affiliation and just to get somebody, you know, started. So, um, yeah, so I have to vouch for that. You, you guys really, um, you really, you know, you really, you really get down when, when it comes to uh, networking, even though it was your challenge. So yeah. are there any builders in particular or scripters or even artists that you haven't worked with that you're, that you would like to work with just to put it out there, just in, just so that horizons will know that you do have an interest in some people's styles or, or skill sets. Okay, I can start that out because I got like a list, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Cutie the sweetest, you know, she number one. I'm gonna say that. All right, all right. I want, I want I, we always collaborate, but I still love collaborating with her the most. Uh, Junior, I would like to collaborate with Junior. I would like uh, Vaspic, uh, Shade the Artist. I love Shade work, you know what I'm saying? Just her worlds are just dead. Um, Angel the Artist, I love her work. Um, this what, what the dude named the Viking dude where we went to with all the artwork, you know? The, uh, um, it was I, like Viking something. He has some amazing art worlds, but I can't remember his whole. Episode. Yeah, he his art worlds is is crazy. Yeah. Isha, you know I love Isha work. Oh, right. Isha work. I love Isha <laughs> work, man. Like my list of people when it comes to scripters, the scripters I would like to work with will be like um this dude named Sizzle. I think he's Asian. He's cool as shit. Uh, I don't know. I ain't my bad. I mean, cause uh, <laughs> and <laughs> what, what the what the other guy named uh, Takatito. I like Takatito script. Uh, okay. He's dope. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's just a lot of people I would like to work with, but a lot of people ain't willing to come out. They share you, but one day, hopefully soon. Okay. You know. Okay. You got a list, bunny. Um, he named a lot of the people that I want to work with as well. I've been wanting to do like um, a big collaborative art world of all the like, top artists of Horizon and just like all put one piece together and put it in a gallery so people can do different styles. Um, I know that's kind of hard with capacity in Horizon because some of these artists on here, they their pieces, you know, be so amazing in detail that they got to be in their own world. So that's the hard part. But 
if they would give us the space we need, I think that would be really dope for like every artist to just put one little art piece together and put it all together. And we could just have an art, you know, like a gallery, you know, of all the artists on Horizon. I think that'd be cool. Well, you know, scripting skills will allow you to, to get. Okay. So, um, you know, uh, the scripting skills, you know what I'm saying, elevating your scripting skills. Or, or or mastering them scripting skills, um, you got you got people like Shay. Shay's getting around that capacity, you know, with her scripting. She's developing her own um own um I guess approach to scripting to provide her with the um to get around the capacity issue, you know. Yeah. So um, Horizon's not gonna give us any more capacity, you know, and it's not because <laughs> I'm saying it. It's because of uh, it's been said by people that's with you know with with meta you know yeah. the idea is for the builders to master master the content that they do have right because you know um you know it started out with using certain types of shapes and then it went to <laughs> learn how to use uh scripts uh letter scripts instead of you know uh all kind of little different things that you'll find out mm -hmm. like making certain things collidable and collidable because it doesn't we, need to be we got a lot of tips from uh um uh, CJ Shiloh and Miss Divine, mm -hmm. they gave us a lot of tips on how to mm -hmm. like keep mm -hmm. the world like you know below capacity mm -hmm. by using a lot of squares, mm -hmm. you know. And then and Cutie, she taught us how to use a lot of text with certain stuff to keep your capacity down. So it's it's little tricks you got to learn to do it, but you can keep it down. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so now uh, this the, the, um, this third one would, would be um, what would you what would you suggest to anyone that's coming into Horizon Worlds, you know, in regards to establishing a business model for themselves? If they had to come in brand new, they see what you guys are doing, see what other people are doing, decide I want to I want to come up with something. What would you suggest to them as far as an approach that that you, that you think would be probably the best approach instead of them taking trying to rebuild the wheel all over again? Uh, stay consistent. Listen, listen more than you talk. Uh, when you see a world creator, get to know that creator. You know, kind of see if that's a cool creator to, because some of them they will help you. Some of them are they won't. Um, and if you got a business model, stay on the path to your business model, whatever it is. Like. With me and Bunny, it was kind of like keep pumping out worlds. So we was pumping out like four worlds a week. And we just kept pumping, kept pumping. And then it's like, you know, people start to notice and like they 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 like they constantly putting worlds out. See, I want my name out there, you know what I mean? So that's what I told Bunny, and that's what we did. We just stayed consistent. So, so, so in your in your advice is just be consistent and in what you're doing. Stay consistent with a brand. Stay consistent with a focus and in in due time, right? Your name will get out there, and then you can move to the next level. That was you basically saying. Okay, what do you think, Bunny? Um, for me, I would just say you know you just gotta find your niche. You gotta find like what you're really good at, and just really get it out there. Also, um. You know, promote yourself. Like, don't be scared to, like, kind of brag about yourself. Because I knew for me, that's one thing I kind of fell at in the beginning. And people didn't even know I was a creator. And I had been creating for a year um, back in January. It was, like, my year mark of creating. And a lot of people didn't even know I had worlds because I was so, like, shy and didn't even want to tell people that I was a builder because I, all my friends were, like, top creators from the start. Like, CJ and Herbert and all <laughs> them and Price and... I'm like, they're like, oh, you're friends with all these great creators. And I would just be like, yeah. And then somebody would click on my name, like, oh, you got worlds? I'm like, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> so I kind of wouldn't, you know, talk about my own stuff. And then people would tell me, like, oh, you're a really great builder. You know, you're good on details and stuff. And then I kind of just had to get out of that shell. So I would actually talk about it more. But he got, you know, Bone kind of started doing that. Like, he'll be in somebody's world and he'd be be like, or else come see your world. And he's he's the one to jump on that and be in your face with it. But me, I'm still kind of shy. Like, <laughs> I'm still kind of shy about it. He'd be like, what's the <laughs> point of us building if you ain't going to show nobody the world? So now I'm kind of getting a little bit better with that. But I think when uh, people starting out, you really got to push your worlds out there and just let people know what you can do because they'll look past you and they won't even know that you can do anything because you don't speak up. They're not going to look for you. You got to speak up for yourself. 
Most definitely. Okay, so mm -hmm. ultimately, what is the goal? What is your goal? The ultimate goal. Um, my goal is to, to keep building as long as I can. Uh, keep learning, keep growing. Um, take no days off. Okay, so but that's what I want to do. When I ask about goals, I'm talking about the end goal, the outcome, what the the results, the you know the what what which, what's going to show, what you're going to show from all this. I guess ultimately is to make it to Alpha and basically probably be monetized. I guess I don't know, just start get paid for my work, you know. Okay. So if I can okay. just get to that point, that would be good for me. <laughs> Yeah, I think both of us, we kind of had like, when they were talk talking about the monetization and stuff, we kind of was pushing out a lot of worlds at that point because we thought that's what Meta was looking for, like people that had a lot of worlds. And then we didn't make that mark. We kind of got discouraged and we, we did shy back from the metaverse a lot. But a lot of people were telling us like, it's not just this platform that's going to make you money. Like when things really start taking off with the VR world and your name is already out there that you guys have really started getting noticed so just keep doing what you're doing now you know because when Horizon leaves the beta mode it's going to really start so we kind of just came back and started doing our thing again but yeah we do want to eventually you know make this uh make the bag from it you know we're looking for the bag <laughs> okay and now so before we close out as we get close to the to the end um oh the, uh, what would you provide? What would you like the audience audience to have in, in providing uh, them with information on how to locate you, find you, contact you? Uh, my IG is actually my name Bone Seven Seven Six Zero One Underscore VR. Facebook is Bone Chase Anderson, and that's basically the only two social medias that that I use really. Our is we are the bones. I don't know if it's VR. I think it's just we are the bones. And then we have a mm. couple's Instagram, the life of the bones. Um, my Instagram is blue underscore bunny ninety seven. Okay, so they'll be able to watch mm -hmm. this, and, and, and you know they didn't have to write it down. They'll be able to watch it and pause the video on, on our YouTube channel as well. And um, so um, we're gonna close this out. And I want to first of all, I want to thank you guys for showing up and actually giving us this valuable information that will go uh, towards the uh, collective of uh, of positive information that we have for the outside world to see, so we can counter all the you know the negative from the competition that's putting out you know putting out information trying to make mm -hmm. horizon worlds mm -hmm. not as fascinating as it really is you know what i'm saying so um oh, you know man. so we thank you guys for coming and who's horizon's premier news source who would that be meta news, meta news. <laughs> hey. indeed, hey. indeed. so our audience would like to thank you guys for tuning in tonight for uh, bone and bunny um you know we look at them as one of the one of the tightest couples in here one of the most uh like i say one of the most busiest Aww. couples uh <laughs> but you can learn something from them you can learn how to treat your woman and how you learn how to treat your man at the same time and, <laughs> and uh, we're not going to tell anything else personal that they haven't even introduced so you can tell anything else and uh you can watch this on our youtube channel uh which is meta news for horizon worlds that's what it is for horizon worlds vr and you can watch this uh segment once we post it and you can look at all the other segments we have so many segments we have uh 2020 we we have um join the morning we just have a a number of shows that you can watch that we're we're actually uh making sure that uh horizon gets with it, where the horizon community uh gets the uh, coverage it needs and we try to support our members at the same time and if you look around this beautiful studio you see it's been redecorated again yes so thank you for tuning in this is blanco business <laughs> the, uh, the business buzz but blanco business news segment for meta news and shout out to miss rocks oh well wait